Boys and girls watching, today we are going to talk about something really kind of different today. We are going to talk about something called a reptile. Say that with me. Reptiles. reptiles. Now reptiles are all different. They're all different, but they're all the same, meaning that they're all in the same group called reptiles. So let's talk about some reptiles that God made. Let's talk about this one right here. This animal or this reptile right here, what do you think that is, Luke? A turtle. A turtle, that's right. Maybe you've seen a turtle. When I went to Canada, I went to a place that had lots and lots of turtles. They did. In fact, there were turtles everywhere. And they would be right up on top. Some of them were on a log. Some of them were just floating around in the water. Some were swimming and some were just crawling around on the banks. And it was such a fun thing to see. When I was a little girl, we had a turtle and it was very, very small like this. And it would be in its tank and it would swim around in the water. And then when it didn't want to swim in the water anymore, it, we had a great big rock and it would climb up onto the rock and it would sit on the rock when it didn't want to swim anymore. But guess what? I learned something new about turtles I did not know about. It's fun to read about things. Well, I learned that when it gets really, really cold, turtles that live out in the wild, they will do something that bears do. What do bears do? Think in your brain, don't yell out at me. Think in your brain, what do bears do in the winter time, Oakley? Do you remember? They do something, they go into their, into their cave, into their den, and they do something all winter long. What do they do? They hibernate. Do you know that turtles will do the same thing? If they get, if they're in a place where it gets really, really cold, they will dig into the mud and they will dig a hole down into the mud and they will pull their arms and legs in. How many legs and arms does a turtle have? Four. It does, it has four. And they will pull their arms and legs in and they will curl up and they'll pull their head inside their house. Their house is their shell. Do you know they carry their house wherever they go? Yes! They do. They carry their house backpack. wherever. Kind of like a backpack. And they will hibernate and they will go to sleep just like the bears do when it's really, really cold. They do that. I didn't know that all this time. I knew, never knew that, but I learned about that. Well, let's look at another kind of reptile. Do you know what that is? A lizard. A lizard. I have seen a lizard in my house before. I do not like lizards. Were you scared about that? I was scared about that. But now, lizards can be little tiny baby lizards. They can be big lizards. Sometimes you can have a lizard that will be as long as your arm. There's even, a, and what they do is when they get scared or they're trying to get something, another bigger animal or another, maybe a bigger reptile away from them, they will kind of get up on their back legs and they will hiss like a snake. They'll go like that at you. Oh, I don't like lizards. They'll stick out their tongues and they will hiss at you. And I, I don't like that. They just are yucky. But there's another lizard called a chameleon. Say that with me. A chameleon. Now, a chameleon is really cool. It's like the coolest lizard there is. A chameleon, I got to tell you something cool. Watch this. Jonathan, come see Mr. Stewart. If a chameleon crawled on something that was this color right here, what color is that? Orange. It will turn orange. Go sit down. If a chameleon, Catherine, come. She has leaves and flowers on her pretty dress. If a chameleon was orange, if it turned orange and then crawled on some green leaves, it will turn green. If it crawled on top of this yellow bow, what color do you think it'll turn? Yellow. It will, thank you. It will turn different colors. It doesn't matter what it is. If it crawled over an apple, what color do you think it would be? Red. It, well, God made them all different colors. It's his way of protecting himself. It's like kind of being camouflaged, but we call it a chameleon. What is it? So if a lizard could change colors, we call it a chameleon. a chameleon. Good, good job. Now let me tell you about something else. Look right here. What is that? Mm -hmm. That I do not like. A couple weeks ago, let me tell you about this. A couple weeks ago, I came home. And it was very dark. And when I pulled up, my lights shone right on my porch. And I saw a big black snake slithering across my porch. And is it real? Into, 
guessed it was real, if it was slithering, and it slithered into my garden. And oh, I was scared I didn't want to get out of the car and Mr. Stewart wasn't home. And I did have to get out of the car and I forgot to turn the lights on on my porch before I left the day. So it was dark out and I didn't want to get out of my car. But I just prayed and asked Jesus to help me not to be afraid. And I wasn't and that snake just kept going and I didn't see it again. But I don't like snakes. But there are some good snakes because sometimes snakes are good because they will eat bugs that will destroy gardens and things like that. So hopefully maybe that snake just got in my garden and ate some bugs and then that's why I never saw him again. He just went to somebody else's garden, I don't know. But do snakes have legs? No. No, no they don't have legs. They move around by moving their scales that are on their tummy, they move them. And as they're moving their scales, that's how the snake will move around and that's how they slither. Now. Before there was sin on the world, snakes did were able to walk around. They were, but because remember when God's enemy used the snake, the serpent, to try to get even trouble, that was the serpents. That's what the snake's consequence was. And now the snakes have to slither on their bellies on the dirt on the ground, and so they don't have any legs. They have. They just go around like this they slither that's what they call it a snake will slither what do they do slither. they slither and they can eat all kinds of things they like to eat eggs all kinds of eggs chicken eggs bird eggs doesn't matter what kind of eggs they are they will eat them it could be a mat it could be a, i don't know if it comes in an egg they will eat it they will even some are so big some snakes are so big that they could wrap around you and squeeze you so you don't want to get anywhere near a snake and our last one we want to talk about, what's that? Crocodile! A crocodile! Ah, that's right. But, but this one is an alligator. This picture is an alligator. So what is this one? Alligator. An alligator, that's right. So there's alligators and crocodiles, and they do kind of look alike, but there's a little bit of difference in each one of them. But the alligator, he is all scaly too. Do you see him? He's all scaly. And he walks around on his four legs. But do you see his tail? He can whip his tail back and forth so fast that it could... You don't want to get anywhere near that thing because if there's something that the alligator wants, he is going to get it. If a hippo gets into the water, that alligator will just be so sneaky. So sometimes you will just see his eyeballs. And if you're not paying attention and those hippos get in the water and they're trying to get bathe or get something to drink, that alligator will come up and we'll get them and that's the end of the hippo or sometimes like the gazelles or the deers and things like that will get in the water and those crocodiles or those alligators will get them but an alligator you know what an alligator is it's like a great big lizard so some lizards you can hold in your hand some lizards are bigger some get to change colors what kind are those they're the chameleons. the chameleons and then some lizards are like this you want to stay far far, far away from an alligator. You don't want to be anywhere near because the alligators are fast. They can be in the water or on land and they can run really, really fast and they can swim really fast because their tail really helps them to move along in that water and they can be really fast. So it's really fun to learn about all these different reptiles. What are they called? Reptiles. reptiles. And you know what? I know that some people have. Now, I don't know about an alligator. Unless you live in a zoo, I'm not sure if you have an alligator or a pet. You might, but some people do have these as pets. And I'm sure that is very fun for you. I couldn't do it, but I'm sure that's fun for you. But it is fun learning about all these different reptiles that God made.